What's going on everybody? It's Sacred Eagle. Um, the reason why this video hasn't come out anytime soon is because I've just been lazy, case in point, but um, the Eagles and Redskins. Now you guys already know in a previous video I said I believe the Eagles are going to win this game and then win against Dallas and then on next Sunday. Um, so I don't really got to say much else. I believe the Eagles are going to win this game, but honest to God, props to the Cowboys for the way that they've handled the Saints. I don't know if the Saints just pour out of it, but we can all we can't deny that the Cowboys defense is uh one of the best ones in the league right now. No no question about that. I'll give them praise for that. But the offense is still suspect. I don't care if you put up twenty seven against us. I don't care if we allowed forty eight to the Saints. It's all ancient history at this point because the way the NFL works, <laughs> there's always at least one game that surprises everybody, whether it's a blowout whether it's an upset, you know, it's, it's anything is possible. And with the way this NFC works out, the Eagles can either win the division at 9-7 and seven, or make a wild card spot at 9-7 and seven, or miss the playoffs. It's that simple, you know, and I'm, uh, you know how I've felt about this season as a whole. You know, I've seen the good and the bad and the ugly, and I've said to myself, we're still, we still got it, we don't got it, we're dead, and now we're resurrected, it feels like. So, who knows what's bound to happen? I, You guys know I believe the Eagles are going to win against the Redskins tomorrow night and then take that momentum into a short week, go to Dallas, and win that game as well. That's all the Eagles got to worry about right now is these first two games out of the next five. You have five games left, three of them against division rivals. The next two are divisional games, and they're the biggest and most important of your season right now. If you can win out these next two games, you'll be tied with the Redskins, or not the Redskins, the Cowboys for first place. But due to the tiebreaker, you'll have that divisional spot at number one. You'll have that advantage. You just got to manage to win out. <laughs> and that's going to be the difficult part, beating the Rams and the Texans. I mean, I know we can beat the Redskins twice. I know we can beat them twice, regardless. It's just the Rams, very questionable. Texans, I believe we can upset them. I, I believe uh, in, in my heart that we can do that. So it's just a matter of beating, winning these next two games. That's my primary focus that should be the Eagles and their primary focus is to find a way to win this game and then win against Dallas those are your two biggest obstacles right now and as you know the biggest obstacle is yourself you guys need to learn you guys need to find out how to start like quick you guys need to figure out a way to start off instantly scoring just bang score a touchdown a field goal in your first possession you cannot be, in the first quarter, you guys cannot be just doing nothing, okay? The second quarter, you can't score just a field goal. And then in the third and fourth, you can't be scoring touchdowns left and right. You need to be playing all four quarters, scoring as many points as you can, okay? This league is different. It's all about offense. That's all it really is nowadays. It's just like college, except a couple of teams, Cowboys included, have the best defenses that keep them in games, that keep them... In just they just you know find a way to win with their defense. That's how some teams have won, like the Cowboys have, the Bears have. So at the end of the day, yes, you can rely on your defense, but not the entire time. You need to start off quick, score points early, and maintain a lead in these next two games. That's how it should be for the Eagles right now. That's their number one concern going into these next two games is just starting off quick on offense. It's been the issue the entire season. Sure, the turnover dif differential has been an issue as well. But at the same time, if you're not scoring points at the start of the game, it doesn't matter if you're making turnovers late in the game. Because by that point, you might be down 10, you might be down 20, you know? That's how it's been for us, like, against the Vikings, against the Saints, against the freaking Cowboys in the third quarter. That's how it's been for the Eagles, and they cannot be doing that anymore. So, at the end of the day... I believe the Eagles will win this game. I'll talk more about the Cowboy game in the future once we get past the Redskins, of course. Let me know what you guys think about the game tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.